Hey, I'm Elijah Sandy Ford for CBC Kids News, and today we're chasing Drake. CBC is doing a special on the decade of Drake, and today we're commemorating Drake's accomplishments here in the Six. Was Drake gonna be big, or was this gonna be a one-off here? Yo, boy, you gotta hear this. You gotta hear this. We, we, we good. We winning. And we found out he was gonna be big. Check out this interactive map CBC made. It's a map that highlights locations in Toronto that Drake references in his music. I have a feeling if we follow this map, we might have a chance of meeting Drake at one of these locations. Come on, let's go. Guys, we just arrived here in Queen Street, and in Drake's song Lose You from his album More Life, he drops his verse. Ali North pulling like 10 million a season. Queen Street visions that nobody believed in. He's talking about this street right here, people, and this street is always popping for a reason. So let's get right to it and see where he's at. Drake released More Life on March 18th of 2017, what he described as a playlist of original music. Just 24 hours after the release, More Life was streamed 89.9 million times on Apple Music and 61.3 million times on Spotify, setting world records for both platforms. We weren't able to find Drake here, but let's hop on the TGC and see if we can find him at the Social Bank Arena. Hey, come to think of it, Drake did drop a verse about the TTC too, from the song Western Road Flows from the album Views. You was riding TTC Metro, I had the place booming. We made it to the Scotiabank Arena. The Raptors play here all the time, and Drake has been the global ambassador for the Raptors since 2013, so he's probably inside there. Let's go see if we can find him. Prior to winning the NBA championships, the Raptors won the Eastern Conference Final here. NBA officials spoke with Toronto Raptors about Drake's activity on the sidelines during the Eastern Conference Finals. The rapper has been known for his antics like standing up and shouting at opposing players, which quite frankly is allowed by the NBA's fan conduct policy as long as extreme language is not used. Drake mentions the Scotiabank Arena in his song 30 for 30 Freestyle from a collaborative mixtape, What a Time to Be Alive. I got a club in a Raptors Arena, championship celebrations during regular season. All this hunting is kind of getting me a little hungry. I heard Drake likes the restaurant The Real Jerk. Let's go check that place out. Drake was the world's most popular recording artist. He had the year's best-selling single with his song One Dance, and his album Views was the world's third best-selling album. Finally, we made it to the iconic restaurant The Real Jerk, which is featured in Rihanna's music video Work, and hopefully we can find Drake inside. Maybe even Rihanna too. I didn't find Drake, but I did find this patty, but I'm gonna log off for today. If you wanna go on your own little adventure, go to the CBC website where you can find the interactive map. I'm Elijah Sandy Ford for CBC Kids News. Peace.